What's happening guys and welcome back to the channel. Now on today's channel is going to be slightly different. Today we're going to be taking a look at an SSD and in fact it's going to be the Evo Plus 970 from Samsung. And yeah, we're just going to get this installed. I'm going to show you the process, go through some specs and jump straight into it. So let's go. So today's video was sponsored by VIP SSD key. So let's go for a word from them. So go into the search menu and type in VIP CD key and click on enter. As soon as you do that, click on enter and type on the first link you can see. Type in Windows 10 search menu and type on the first one, which is Windows 10 Pro. As you can see, it's on sale for $20.47 and open to all platforms and regions. And simply just go down to buy now. In the discount code, type in JT20 to get 20% off your order. And as you can see, it's now reduced it down further 20%. And then simply go to submit order. Click on your payment type, which I chose pay. From here, all you need to do is wait for the payment process to be complete. And as you can see, your order has been completed. I have my order number and I just need to go to my buy-ins. As soon as it is complete, you will also get this link that pops up and this will give you your code to activate your Windows. So go over to your settings tab, type in settings and click on Windows on security. After you've done that, go to activation, change product key, type in your new product key, click on next and then select activate. And this will activate your new Windows 10 key. VIP CD key also offer Office 2019 Professional for $58.51. But you can also go to the Buy Now page and type in discount code JT20 to get a further 20% off and then simply submit your order and pay through the method of your choice. VIP CD key also offer a great variety of different types of games from Steam, Origin, Uplay, PlayStation, PC, and also a lot of gift cards from Steam to iTunes to PlayStation at a lower cost. If you are interested in checking this out, make sure you go down the links in the description to find out any more information that you may need or require. So, like I said, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at Samsung's 970 Evo Plus uh, 500GB SSD uh, NVMe. And why I actually went for one of these. So, lately the channel's been getting bigger and better with more products and I seem to be editing a lot more videos. And say, editing from a standard you know, chunky hard drive like one of these, uh, which is two four terabyte hard drives, isn't the best because the the speeds on them isn't exactly the greatest. So I then resort into SSDs. So these are Kingston's, these are one terabyte drives. I've got three of these currently at the moment. Uh, and I use one of these for my OS and for my rendering my videos. And I noticed the speeds were getting quicker, but they weren't, I don't know, they weren't the best. So a full video, uh, rendering scale with everything that's going on on inside the system would take me around about 35 40 minutes to render a 10 minute video and it it's not that quick so i wanted something that would be 10 times quicker 10 times easier to install and something i can just pop in my motherboard and never have to worry about plus i don't need any external cables or external power supplies or anything like that to the ssd so that's why i decided to go for an nvme so I started up with a 500 gig one. Um, I have got a, a two terabyte one on the way, but it's not here yet. So we're going to be doing this one instead. So why NVMe? What? Why? Why did I go for NVMe? Well, one was because of the speed. So you get a read and write speed on an NVMe drive like this of around 3,500 megabytes per second, which is huge. Has a lot of uh, read and write speed. So that's what I pretty much went for. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of NVMe drives. I'm not a tech guru. I pretty much find everything out. Oh, no, that's bad. So guys, this is what we're gonna be taking a look at today. So this is the Samsung 970 Evo Plus NVMe M.2 drive, and this is the 500 gig version. Now, lately with everything that's been going on, um, with my editing on the channel, I normally edit on these drives. So these are uh, four terabyte uh, hard drives that I've been currently editing on and unfortunately the speeds are very slow. So when I decided to swap out for them, I went to SSDs. So I started using Kingston drives and these are one terabyte drives and I currently have four of these in my system. So it is a lot of space. And do you know some of the speeds on these was great. So even though that I was using the Kingston drives, they're not, they're not actually that bad. They are re relatively quite quick. So the 960 gigabyte ones have a read and write speed of about 500 megabytes per second and the write speed is about 450 megabytes per, per second, which isn't bad, but editing on these kind of things isn't that great. So that's why I transferred over to the 970 Evo Plus. 
Now, when it comes to the Evo 970 Plus, uh, these do actually read up to about 3,500 3, megabytes read speeds and about 3,300 uh, write speeds. So it is a massive amount of difference. So if we just compare them for a second, so if I grab that out of the box there, and that is pretty much all we get. So what we're gonna be doing is getting this installed into the computer, showing you roughly what's going on and why I decided to get one. So let's go take a look. So as we can see, this is the M.2 slot we're gonna be using here. And you've got a few little empty standoffs here, 2280, 2260, and we've got 2242. Now the NVMe drive we're working with today, which is the 2280 standoff. And with nearly all motherboards that come equipped with M.2 slots, you will get little stands off like these. And these always seem to come equipped with the motherboard. And I've got two of them because I've got two M.2s. So what we need to do with these is actually install the standoff. So I'm gonna be installing it in the 2280. So it's as simple as just grabbing it and then threading it in like that. So the NVMe drive has something to sit on. So I'll get that tweaked in. As you can see there, I've got it added right where the 2280 is. Now all we need to do is grab our drive. So when you're putting in the drive, make sure that it is compatible. Some other boards come with different types of slots, which I don't know a massive amount about, but ours, the ours has come with this one. So this is the NVMe drive. So what we need to do is plumb them two slots into the side of the drive at a 45 degree angle and then slowly wiggle it in till it's in just like that and you'll get a bit of flex but don't worry about that because that's going to get sorted out in just a second so what we need to do is take our screw and as soon as i've got my screw in then what i need to do is simply push the nvme drive down till it's flat and then simply just install the screw and there we go so the nvme drive is now installed i've got the screw in with a standoff but i need the heat sink to go on top uh, don't worry about the CPU at the moment. I'm currently going for a change, so that's why my system's half open, half closed. So, obviously, with me having the Strix B550 uh, eGaming, it comes with, obviously, two M.2 slots, but they're also covered by um, by two heat sinks like this one, which is very nice. But it also comes with, obviously, a thermal pad on the back to help a little bit about cooling. So what we need to do is get that installed as well to get the drive hidden away. So I'm just going to do that now. And it's as simple as just putting it back on the way you're taking it off. But like I said, not all motherboards will come equipped with one of these. It all just depends where they come with external heat sinks or heat spreaders. I'm not 100% sure what they're called. And I know there's a huge variety out there. So it all depends on what your motherboard is a capability of doing, I suppose. And there we go. So that's all back installed and it's all hidden away very nicely. That was really simple to do. So that really did take me about two minutes to install. And it was, it was quite a nice process instead of having all the SATA data cables, my power supply cables running them and routing them, making sure they're smooth. So the NVMe drives help on that note as well. But like I did say, I've been running on SSDs that are running at 350 to 500 megabytes per second at read and write speeds. NVMe 970 Evo Plus actually allows for about 3,500 read and write speed, 3,500 megabytes read and write speeds, which is twice and three times as much as what my SSD, SSDs have been running at. So there is a huge different variety of uh, NVMe's out there at the moment. I know Samsung have got their ProLine version, which I think they're a little bit slower than the Evo Plus versions, but I think they have a longer lifespan and that I'm not too, uh, I'm not 100% sure about. But it's gonna make life a lot easier having M.2 drives, especially with the price line. So you can get a 500 gig one roughly now for about 70 or 80 pound. So they don't really cost that lot compared to the lifespan they have compared to a three and a half inch drive. And they take up less space, and they're just so much quicker. So it works out quite well. Um, like I said, I'm new to the whole when it comes to these sort of things like installing different types of operating systems and different drives. So I'm new to this, so I'm still learning throughout making videos on YouTube, trying to learn more and more I possibly can about the systems, upgrading my systems. Um, the, I've got a new CPU coming uh, next week, so I'm going for the Ryzen 7 5800X. So I'm currently running on the Ryzen 5 2600X, which isn't the best, I think it's six cores, 12 threads, where the Ryzen 7 5800 is eight cores and 16 threads, and can boost to about 4.8 uh, gigahertz. So it's gonna work out quite well. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah, so this was just a little bit of an introduction about the NVMe, and and then a little bit just what I've added to my system to help on my channel, to help render my videos and edit my videos, making things quicker, and also using it as a boot drive to allow my system to run quicker as well. So. It's not too bad. But as always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any comments down below to help me out to learn a little bit more about certain systems, I'm more than happy to listen into it. But as always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one.